Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new Asus Q501 15.6-inch touchscreen laptop. Alright, let's get started. What's up YouTube? Let me go ahead and break down the specs on this Asus laptop. This laptop features a 4th generation Intel Core i5-4200U processor running at 1.6GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.6GHz featuring 6GB of DDR3 memory, 15.6-inch LED high-definition touchscreen display, with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, 750 gigabyte hard drive, built-in one megapixel webcam and microphone, SD card reader, three USB 3.0 ports, Bluetooth capability, and the laptop comes weighing in at 5.1 pounds and measures 0.9 inches thick. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8 and you can pick it up for $749.99 at your local Best Buy. All right, for this section, let me go ahead and show you the ports on the right side of the laptop. Here you have two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI output, Ethernet port, and an AC adapter charging port. Next up, let's take a look at the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your Kensington security slot, USB 3.0 port, SD or MMC card reader, and your 3.5 millimeter headset port. Next up, let's talk about the design of the new ASUS Q501 laptop. This black chassis of this laptop looks spectacular. This is one of the best designs I've seen in the Windows laptop for under $800. The keyboard has a stunning metallic finish on it that complements the beautiful black design. The keyboard is very comfortable to type on and the trackpad is spacious and very accurate. The two finger scrolling on the trackpad is surprisingly very smooth. Only downsides I've experienced is the number keypad is not as spacious as I would like it to be. Sometimes I would find myself typing the wrong numeric key in. However, with time you should be able to get it adjusted to the size of the keypad. The speakers on this laptop was about average. I just wish ASUS faced the speakers on top instead of the bottom of the case. Next up, let's talk about CPU performance and battery performance. This laptop features an Intel Core i5-4200U Haswell processor with a clock speed of 1.6 GHz and turbo boost up to 2.6 GHz. From day-to-day -day activities like web browsing, YouTube, HD video, word processing, to even Adobe Photoshop, this computer ran flawlessly. Next up, let me show you some Cinebench scores. This is on the Power 4 Gear Hybrid settings on performance. On OpenGL, I got 17.62 frames per second. Next up, let's take a look at some Geekbench benchmarks. This is a 32-bit version with a single core score of 2,374 and a multi-core score of 4,696. Next up, let's take a look at the Windows Experience scores. The processor came in at 6.9, memory 7.8, graphics 5.5, gaming graphics 6.5 and primary hard disk at 5.9 and finally battery performance with a full charge i was able to get roughly around four and a half to five and a half hours with my brightness at about 65 percent all right this section let's go ahead and test out the boot up speed on the new asus q501 laptop here we go asus logo Logging in, bam, it's roughly about 15 seconds, which is fairly quick considering it's a 5400 RPM drive that's installed here. All right, for this section, let's go ahead and test out the viewing angles on the ASUS laptop. Let me go ahead and turn the brightness all the way up. All right, let me go ahead and rotate to the right side and test out the angles. So far, pretty good. There we go, starting to fade a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and rotate back to the center and we'll go ahead and take a look at the left side. There we go. Still pretty visible. So far, I've been pretty impressed with the viewing angles on this IPS display. All right, let me go ahead and test out the viewing angles when I tilt the laptop screen down. All right, that's all the way down right there. Let's go back up. All right, next up, let's test out the touchscreen performance on the ASUS Q501 laptop. Let me go ahead and scroll right here. 
pretty smooth and responsive. Let me go ahead and search for something right here. Let me go ahead and search for calendar. Popped up right there. Let's go ahead and check, look at the search bar again. Let's go ahead and scroll through our apps. All right, let me go ahead and launch a web page here so you can take a look at the sample. Let me scroll up and down. So far, the two finger scroll has been very smooth and responsive. Alright, this section I'd like to talk about the gorgeous 1920 by 1080p HD screen. The text and images on this screen is sharp and very vibrant. Asus really knocked it out of the park with this beautiful screen. Let me show you some of the samples on this high res screen. Let me launch up the Bing search images. Look at the colors on here, look very vibrant and colorful. Next up, let me show you some sample images and text on Bing News. Text looks sharp and clear. Overall, I've been highly impressed with the screen on this laptop. If you're looking for a laptop that has excellent performance, as well as a gorgeous HD screen, comfortable keyboard, smooth responsive trackpad, and exceptional battery life, then look no further than the new Asus Q501 laptop. Only downsides I've experienced were the small numeric keypad and low resolution webcam. Other than those two cons, you got yourself an amazing laptop for all under $800. Alright, this completes my review on the new Asus Q501 laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.